Hey guys, I am D Shritfin and we are playing, oh yes, Quantum Break. Long time coming, but it's here. Let's go. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. Right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, <laughs> man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. <laughs> this looks amazing. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. Cheers, dude. Alright, Riverport University Experiment, Act 1, Part 1. Search your surroundings. Okay. Let's see what it's all about. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... Not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. That looks great. Love it. Damn. Alright, what we got, what we got. Uh yeah, I ain't reading all that. Oh, Jack. <laughs> you just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4am? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Right. Right. Fair enough. Nope. Select. Alright. I see. Is that it? Hey. Sword. Right. Where are we going? Where are we going? Wow. Hey, yep. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, Fuck man. Fuck you, prick. Thanks. I just watch your mouth. <laughs> Please go around. <laughs> hey girl if you're with that fraternity you've done enough damage we're being shut down <laughs> hey I come in peace I'm just meeting a friend nearby at 4 a.m. yeah tell me about it well we're spreading awareness about monarch solutions so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft then you could just ask me how badly do you want the shaft All right <laughs> I'm reading a lot. If you want to, you can press pause. Really questioning. Oh. So, just the timeline of what's going on there. Monarch problems. Okay, I need to find what I need to find. Where are you? Better read the fucking majority of it. <clears throat> Alright. 
216 narrative objects found. Okay, what's this? Expose the lies, find the truth. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Is this some kind of horror film? Oh! He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Every story finds its writer. Scary. <laughs> The game did come with Alan Wake, so we shall be getting that on the go soon enough. Wake has a bloody knife in his the light of the flashlight. He smiles and looks at his eyes and the blood on his face, eyes staring. You get ya. <laughs> That's enough of that caper. All of us have two right, where are we going? This building here. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a you big deal for him. You look a bit fucking suspicious, didn't you? Hey, protest's over. Head home. And head nowhere, bitch. I'm going in. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son this of a game bitch. This fucking awesome. Look at it. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. <laughs> the esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Mm-hmm. A weird feeling? <laughs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. Okay. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but oh. it was difficult. <laughs> it's too easy looking at the fucking graphics. In here, Jack. Going up. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on... He's going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. <laughs> okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Well, take me to the fucking lab, man. Come on, let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at nope. all. Nope. Right. Got enough doors going on. <laughs> Come on, son. Welcome to Project Promenade. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. 
You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Oh, this? Scared off the investors, ranting about what? miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Doesn't look good for you, does it? Oi! Fucking push me. <laughs> right, whoa, whoa. He's stepping up. Didn't think so. Jack, you know asking for help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. Okay. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking oh, legal. Yeah. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. They never do. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. It's on the shirt. It's done calm. <laughs> right. I'll let you guys pause and play if you want to read this. I can get involved. Got it. <laughs> oh, see, so he's waiting on me. Right, where are we going? I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. Fuck That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it this? remains stable. No? Yes. I got you, I got you. Left stick. Let's go. Oh yeah. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. We're doing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's just the chronon conduit initiated. Oh, of course it is. Silly me. <laughs> Continue. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Holy oh, shit. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit. A black intense. hole. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about In to space. find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. Oh. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. <laughs> Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> what are we doing? What's gonna be amazing? What do you want? Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Hey. Okay. Come on. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. <laughs> Three. No, not gonna two, do it. One. Jack. <laughs> what? You didn't say zero. Huh. Come on, man. We need we'll see what's going to happen, okay. but nothing. You turn. <laughs> I'll follow. Okay. Close enough. Just need a countdown. Just need a note. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. This is a fucking time machine. I 
am going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. God damn it. All you have to do is hit that switch. Hit war switch. Oh. Two minutes into the past. Okay. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Oh. Shit, let's do them. Double mischief. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's. He's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. Uh-oh. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. Okay. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. Mm, sounds fishy. You saw it, Jack. We did it! Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. Hmm. Not liking it. You go there, mate. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Charlie! Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on, the core. Hold, hold on. We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Will, shut up, look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jets. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? Whoa. No, I gotta let you out. Nope, he's screwed. Run, save yourself. No, 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 no. Oh no, no. John. 